Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Haiku the Robot. This is a uh, pixel art Metroidvania. Um, from what little I've seen, really only screenshots and the first minute of the game, as I was fiddling around with things. Um, it kind of gives me Hollow Knight vibes, a bit more low res though, and it's um, the game has a very peculiar color palette. Uh, I mean, it's very orange, as you can see. Orange and this kind of brownish purple um, that I'm not entirely sure what to call. But, uh, well, you're gonna see. Also, what really sold this on me, I mean, apart from, uh, you know, pixel art and Metrovania, that's usually enough. Um, but I, I saw one of the screenshots on the stream page includes a map of the, uh, or, you know, a shot of the in-game map, and that's, you know, when I saw that, I said, yes, that's it. Shut up and take my money. And, uh, well, this came out a bit over a year ago, so it took me a while to, you know, to get to this. Not as long as some other games, though, so it's good. Safe file? Ah, okay. There was a bit of a delay before something happened. 200 years ago. I mean, this is, this is classic. <laughs> right out of a Mega Man or something. Just uh, a bit more... What is this? Mauve? Lilac? Not really. I don't know. Apocalypse is the eye of a needle through which we pass into a different world. Oh, okay. George Zabrowski? Hmm. Time lapse of the underground world being built and populated with robot creatures. With did that little flying thing have an an NES controller for our face? If so, I approve of that. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. I I just love this this kind of aesthetic. Hmm, big vault door with one lock thingy missing? Is that meaningful? Haiku. Is a Japanese kind of poem. Oh, or it's also a robot. Wake up. Press a button to exude dark energy. Huh? Okay. Weird. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to press. No, no, no. Okay, the cables are detaching. Oh, right, there we are. Aren't we cute? And we have this, well, kind of big sword thing. Also, our hands are not attached. Or our feet. <laughs> kind of Rayman style. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just really like the style that they're going for here. Smash those things. Oh. Archie to slide past enemies. Are you an enemy? I guess maybe a type of pretty passive enemy. Okay, so we, yeah, we got this. Ooh. Got physics, we got scrap to collect or something. Ooh. Lots of scrap. Can I just take all of that? Can dash freely? Oh no, never mind. There is absolutely a stamina gauge. Ooh, and that takes a long time to come back. Once it's in the red. Ooh. Okay. Also, we have four. I, I'm guessing that's health. Yeah, I suppose that's where I'm probably taking those uh, Hollow Knight parallels from. I did mention that, right? That just from that my little bit of uh, playing around just jumping around here basically <sighs> oh is that makeable abandoned wastes yeah i don't know something about this gives me <laughs> very much hollow knight wise uh, wipes vibes which is obviously a a really good thing hmm is that indicative of something no i guess it always sparks when you hit a wall yeah okay not sure if those big guys just bounce or if they explode. They look kind of explodey. Hmm, where do we go? Left or right? I mean, if this were Metroid, we'd go left. Ah. Oh, oh, that's gonna... Yeah, that's, again, very Hollow Knight. A uh, destructible thing that gives me currency, I guess. But I can't get up there, so... Oh. Oop. Oop. I need some sort of wall jump or uh, double jump, you know, the usual. Obviously, things that I would very much like to have anyway. Okay, I'm just 
I just now thought to 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 try and see if I was just being silly and maybe I had a double jump all along, but uh, no, I don't. We can jump, we can attack, we can well, slide. Careful not to overextend your stamina. Ooh, well, okay, there's the map. I mean, that's the style of map. Uh, with kind of detailed... Ooh, in fact, hold on. Do we see kind of a secret room there, perhaps? Down, you know, down to the left of us? That's something I'll have to uh, figure out. Map sweeper with... What's your mark? Map sweeper. What is that? Can we zoom? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, look at this. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, I mean, just like a bit of a pixelated version of Hollow Knight. I'm, I'm gonna try and stop saying Hollow Knight. Ooh. Oh, okay, we can switch with uh, triggers, not the pumpers. Gotcha. Got chips, so some sort of equipment system, I guess. Ooh, wait. Ah, yes. Three different types of chips, I suppose. Uh, items, we got our currency, we got uh, rubber duckies, or mechanical chicken, or what is that? Stored spare parts, why does that look like a bird's head? <laughs> or maybe it's not a bird's head, maybe it's a single-eyed robot head. It looks like it has a beak, I don't know. <laughs> looks like a kind of deflated rubber ducky or something. Goldcrest will store spare parts for safekeeping. With a whistle, you can deposit spare parts at perch station. Oh, or maybe it is supposed to to look bird-like perch stations. So, I don't know. Um, 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 wait, wait. Huh? Liquid coolant. A low conductive liquid that transfers heat more effectively, thus reducing the chance to overheat. Reduces the heating cost of abilities. Oh, okay. That's a thing. Kill switch sword. Hmm. A sharp-edged metal chip used to dispatch robots. A few of its components are missing. Uh-huh. Okay. Weapon upgrading. A frequency receptor re receives electromagnetic waves passing through the air and tr translates them into map data. Convenient. Also, we have a cute little diagram of Haiku in the background. I wonder if uh, his name is ever going to be explained. Not that it needs to be. Anyway, um, I'll press down to save. That's different. Give me the money. Also, ah, yeah, that. Okay. Clever. Put a breakable thing in front of the breakable wall so that you would hit them both. But yeah, I also did notice that there were slight cracks visible on the map, but it seemed subtle. So um, I'll have to be on my toes to notice those. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem like, like I can hit that thing up there. Maybe that's more like some sort of grab point, or maybe just a... Um, just a switch I have to reach from the other side. Okay, we don't default to the map. That's fine. Some of these enemies, more so than others, I mean, these screw-looking screw enemies definitely give me uh, Mega Man vibes, but I suppose, you know, robotic enemies will do that. What is this? Press down. Adjustable wrench. Ooh. Hold RB while on the ground to heal. I see. Hold RB. I mean, I don't need to heal. Is that, does that cost me anything? I mean, I'm... Oh, maybe? Yeah, I guess it must have eventually cost me some currency. Scraps, I guess. Hold on. Oh. Spare parts. Right, spare parts are needed to repair machines. They've become valuable resources that can be traded for goods. Right. Spare parts and stored spare parts. Okay, I see, maybe. Gold crests will store spare parts for safekeeping. Because presumably there's also a bit of a Souls-like element to this. Where you lose your stuff, or at least drop your stuff on death. Okay, those guys seem don't really seem to care too much. Could have gone down earlier, trying to build this, you know, build my mental map of this place. Not that I need to, because there is a physical map, which is definitely way more 
Reliable, ouch. Okay, first damage taken, and that does indeed take away one of those thingies. Okay, and I slowly refill it, and I drop stuff, but I cannot actually recollect it. Fair enough. Or can I? I just collected something. Okay. Cannot actually climb up that way, though. Cannot drop down through platforms. Can also not jump up through platforms. So maybe these are just not that type of, type of platform. I could return after that jump or drop. Okay, it's just an obstacle. Give me that. Dead end though. Why do I keep running headlong into things? Who knows? Oh yeah, I can actually, well, I can actually absolutely see my money just going down as I repair. I thought I was looking earlier and it didn't seem to, to budge, but maybe maybe it actually doesn't when you are when you don't need healing. Let's see, 188. Oh yeah, okay, that's just how it is. But you still play the animation of, of dropping bits. Mostly little coins, actually. Or O-rings, I suppose. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, the little birdies continue to be completely unfazed. Much unlike these little flying boxes. Ooh, I like the, the bounciness of these platforms. I'm also... <laughs> I'm also sure that I don't need to worry about every single little bolt that falls, but it's, uh, you know. Ah, god. It's hard not to, you know? Maybe I should just ignore these enemies. Is this? Ooh, okay. So a wall doesn't have to look breakable. It can also just look suspicious. <clears throat> well, that over there is breakable, but I don't think I can make that jump, unless... Unless you can... Oh, God. Nope. <laughs> Not like that. You cannot jump in the air after a dash or something. I don't think you can air dash. Nope. So, yeah, I mean, I could maybe jump and destroy the wall, but I definitely couldn't make it to the to that ledge. Ah, hold down for the rusted key. Okay, so that's... Right, those glowy circles are just key items, I guess, or points of interest. I suppose there was key items in both instances so far. It's interesting that repairing just cost me a very small amount of scrap, or spare parts. I, I don't know, I'm gonna call it... Either of those things, I suppose. Hmm. Wait a second. Oh, we don't have the map for whatever this area over here is called. Isn't it part of the abandoned wastes? Because that's where we came from, right? But it's locked, so I guess we have to find the frequency to download the corresponding map data before it's actually going to be put on the map. How far does it actually go? Okay. Decently far. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, could I have continued going... Oh, God. Now I'm not sure where I have and haven't been. I definitely don't remember needing that key, but I did want to look at that. Ah, oh, yes. Adjustable wrench. Use spare parts to repair your body and heal damage. Yes. A simple key that could probably open an old lock. Yeah. Like most keys do. Yeah, nothing indicated on the map. It's uh, definitely, it's not the most detailed, but just for navigation it gets the job done. <clears throat> so wait, if while I'm over here though, experimenting. Okay, it does show my position, but it does not show the rooms, or one room in this case. Is 
the enemies are a little bit more robust than I would like for something so basic. In other words, I... Oh, I did not see this at all. I just went... Went over and, uh, yeah, to the left immediately. Okay, well, in that case, use Rusty Key, yes. And open this huge, not at all dangerous looking... Uh, I don't know, airlock of some sort. Hello? My name is Pinion. Oh, Pinion. I was just in the area checking up on, a, on an investment opportunity. What is your name? Hmm, not one for words, eh? I do like a robot who keeps to themselves. Spare parts are hard to come by, my friend. If you're not careful, one can get carried away spending them all on repairs. Well, I mean, you'd have to do a lot of repairing. Which I guess I am gonna do, but, you know. If you're having difficulty saving up, I'd suggest summoning a gold crest to bank some of your spare parts. Yeah, use this while at a perch station to summon a gold crest. Oh, that's a... I see. This is a perch station. And now... Yep. Okay. So that does look like a bird. It wasn't just my imagination. <clears throat> use near perch station to summon a gold crest. They will store your spare parts for safekeeping. I mean, okay. I guess it's... We just want to do that. Um, it doesn't let me choose to keep any, so I can only assume that storing them all... Oh, for safekeeping achievement. Up to. Huh. Um, I can only assume that that's always going to be a good thing. Well, I mean, we don't currently have anything to heal with. I guess that's the downside. But basically, kill an enemy and you can heal one unit of health. Don't worry, my friend. Your spare parts won't disappear. You will always be able to access them when purchasing from vendors. Okay, that's what I assumed. I'll see you around. Will you? <coughs> Opinion the investor it also says in the bottom left there. Yeah, okay. I could drop down there. Oh, right. We're once again in unmapped territory. Uh, before I drop... Where I definitely cannot return from. Let's stay up here for a little while longer. Okay, we can... Ah, is that a frequency I hear? Also that... I thought those walls or pillars were always breakable. But I guess not. Oh, hello. Sonic the shopkeeper. Well, that's convenient. Hello there, little one. Have you seen the train recently? You mean the stack beetle? <laughs> um, no, wait. What? Were they called something different in Hollow Knight? The transportation system where... Because this is definitely very reminiscent of that. Strange, it doesn't usually take this long to come around. I wonder what's holding it up. I own a shop compartment on the train. I got off to look for new items to sell, and now I seem to be stranded here. I guess I'll just have to wait. I haven't had many customers lately anyway. Ah, huh? but you have me. And I'm just shy of being able to afford a rusted key. So that's a generic kind of item. Interesting. So kind of, it's kind of Zelda style. Interesting. Map sweeper automatically sweeps the local area for any obstacles the user has yet to overcome. Whoa, what? Oh. Sweeps the local area for any obstacles the user has yet to overcome. Okay, so it's just going to detect them. But that's a usable item? No, maybe not. Maybe you just purchase this once. I can't tell yet if 400 is supposed to be... Is it, if that's a, a lot of scrap in the long run. Or just, you know... If you're gonna have tens of thousands at some point and you can just buy a dozen of these. But I'm guessing for now that you buy this and then... Um, it's just a feature that's unlocked on the map and you can press a button and it's gonna show you where there is stuff left to do. So that would be useful. As I was saying earlier, the map for now is, you know, not showing any details like locked doors or paths that I cannot use because of lack of ability or anything like that. It does show some... Well, it's, it's really very rudimentary, but it does give the shapes of the rooms, which is the most important part. Um, because, you know, they're... For the most part, going to be distinctive enough to, to help me jog my memory. Okay, so this is where the train is going to stop. 
eventually. <clears throat> I didn't see any... Any, um... Uh... Aha. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. Wait, is this the thing that's... Creating the, the radio waves? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Right, I didn't see any uh, device that would allow me to call the train, so maybe it's just always going to be there when I'm there. Um, right, and this is, well, not specifically reminiscent of that, but again, I, I know I said I was going to stop talking about Hollow Knight, but this, this seems to be another parallel to me, where in Hollow Knight you would find the maps for each sub-area. Um, well, you, you would purchase them from whatever his name was, the cartographer. And, you know, he would always be hanging out somewhere and uh, humming or singing quietly to himself. And uh, whenever you get... And, and he would also leave that trail of scattered papers. And that would, you know, become more and more dense the closer you got to the to the, to the the source, basically. And um, it's, this is kind of similar. A, kind of a visual representation of the, you know, the sound getting, getting closer. Anyway, uh, do I... What do I do? I don't press down. Do I just attack? Oh. I break the thing. Oh, I break it completely? Map updated. Oh, so this is kind of a, a jamming station? Is that how it works? Um, oh, okay, yeah, that took a moment. Tire village. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Does it say that frequency receptor receives electromagnetic waves passing through the air and translates them into map data? But it seemed more like... We already have the where we would have already received map data if not for that device which we just destroyed, right? That would make more sense to me. Oh, this is the other side of Ow? I didn't didn't know that you just charged forward like that. Let's use that immediately. Oh, but you can't have partial health. I was wondering about that. Okay, this is sorry for opening the map so much. Also, Wait, the first time I press this button, unless I'm crazy. Oh, oh, there is a shortcut. I'm dumb. That's not the button I pressed initially. Okay, that's good to know. It's uh, L1 or LB or whatever. Okay, that, yeah, that's way more convenient. And select or whatever the button is actually officially called um, on on Xbox is items. And there is no shortcut to chips, but I suppose you don't really need to access that so frequently. Anyway, uh, this is, yes, this is the other side of the same room that we still cannot really do anything in. Fair enough. I did see a niche over here. With uh, quite a bit of scrap in it. All right, we cannot go to the other side of that yet. It's going to be a shortcut for later. So we do have the map, right? We didn't, we never dropped down here. Oh, wow. Well, I suppose I should heal a little bit. There we go. Will you charge down ledges? Yes, absolutely. Right, and these guys will not attack actively, but they will bounce off walls and damage you if you're careless like I was. Uh, is this a thing? No. Not in this case, okay. The map actually tells me th that there is a dead end to the bottom right. Convenient, convenient. Oh. Well, this is not the bottom right. Right, this guy charged down here. That was close. Nice. Nice try, buddy. It was just a little treasure vault, and I somehow managed to get damaged. Again. I wonder who took the time to hang up these... Uh, these scrap pieces in such a decorative manner. I feel like a bit of a jerk for just destroying everything. Okay, so saving does heal you, never mind. <laughs> Not immediately, so I thought um, you'd always need to invest some scrap to heal, but no. Save points do indeed heal you for free. That is certainly generous. Right, so the little guys are going to charge, but they're not going to turn around. These guys are... Okay, never mind, that one turned around, so... I don't know if he, if he was actually trying to attack me, or... I thought they would just 
bounce along. Not really caring about you. Maybe they just bounce in a predefined path back and forth. Right, got those little Roombas as well. Saw one of those earlier. Where am I trying to go here? Am I trying to climb back up? Also, hmm, no, I don't know. I was gonna say, um, there seem to be kind of on an unmapped space right now, but that's not really how that works, is it? I suppose these these currently locked areas do give the the overall outline of that sub part of the map, but once um, the lock is uh, removed, you don't really have the outer the outer limits anymore. And thus, we just don't know how far this stretches. Anyway, um, yeah, just uh, little observations here and there. Oh. Yeah, we definitely need a weapon upgrade. Wonder how long it's gonna be before we get one. Are you friendly or a boss? I mean, you don't look very friendly. Do I just. Yep, yeah, I just attack you and. That's what I get, I guess. You're an electro uh, magnet. Ouch. Okay, how do I dodge that? I suppose I could try actually literally dodging. Like so, yeah. Completely forgot that there was a dodge button. Okay. Oh, I tried dodging. Oh, tried dodging that. Didn't do such a good job. Okay, and this is where the time it takes to heal starts mattering. Also, ow. Uh oh. What? I dodged, though. I was absolutely in the process of dodging. And I died for the first time because I. Uh, I guess it takes a moment. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Shouldn't have died there. There was um, a number of stupid mistakes. Just sitting there trying to tank the, the damage as I saw that the a blob was coming down. That was maybe the first stupid mistake. I also seem to have dropped maybe. About half my stuff, or did I drop anything actually? I'm not sure that that I did. Maybe I had used up that much trying to repair, very unsuccessfully. Um, yeah, that that was just comically, comically, uh, I don't know, inept. That last bit, though. Um, I just... I was trying to dodge. Well, actually, I took damage once. Trying to dodge, but... Oh, 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 okay. We got hot rooms. That's not... Why did I press that button? I don't know. I see. Yeah, okay, so... I, I was trying to, to dodge out of the repair animation here. But... Um, there is a bit of a delay. You, you're stuck in place for just a second or so after repairing. Okay, so we got hot rooms, we got dark rooms. Dark room is being put on the map, but um, yeah, this is going to be awkward to navigate. To say the least. Is this a thing? Right, makes sense that we would have to go through the boss. Right, anyway, so, yeah, that one time I was... I thought I dodged, but, I mean, I, I guess I didn't physically move far enough past the boss or through the boss. So I still ended up taking damage. Okay, those are one-shots, thankfully. Are uh, you gonna come bouncing down here? Yes, eventually. So, um, yeah, while your dash is pretty fast, it does not maybe cover a huge amount of, of distance. Whoa, that was interesting. <laughs> Gotta kind of confuse him there a bit. Okay, just making sure I have some scrap. This was nothing. Oh, you're... I think you might have been uh, glitching out there a bit, which I suppose makes sense, you know. You might have been... Literally glitching out in universe. Okay, also, why did this one enemy leave such a 
large block of scrap behind. Oh, actually, they, they always do. Never mind then. Okay, so, right. Once I took damage for just standing there, trying to heal when I saw a blob falling on me, that was dumb. Although I'm not sure if I could have stopped repairing and moved out of the way in time. So definitely look where those are coming down, look for a safe space, and then heal if you have to. Um, once I tried dodging through the big guy, and I guess just dodged a bit too early and ended up out of iframes before I was completely past him or something. And then that last time I was, um, I thought I would just quickly dash out of healing, out of the healing animation in time, but no, it turns out that you're stuck in place for a moment and that was enough to uh, screw me over. Okay, so he's gonna do that. Nope, I did not expect him to start. Coming over quite so quickly. Okay. Oh. You just take this easy, actually, and this is really not. This does not need to be very hard at all. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's how it should have gone, but, I mean... Oh, uh, don't? Don't, though? What? Wait, oh, phase two. What? Wait. Um, never mind. This is definitely a lot more difficult than I give it credit for. Uh. Okay, what are you doing, though? That again. Can I? No. Nope. Oh. Don't be stupid. Oh, wow. Okay. Not a lot of room to dodge there. Yeah, he's gonna do that. That's what I thought. Okay. This time, though? Maybe you're actually dead? Thank you. Okay, that was a lot scarier than I... I thought for a second. Good job, game. Good job. Whew. All right. And do we get some sort of cool new ability? Surely some sort of climbing. Ooh, a magnet. Electromagnetism. Hold A to jump while on a wall. Okay, indefinitely or... Ah, we can cling to walls. And yes, indefinitely. Can we actually... Yeah, we can actually climb walls. That's awesome. Okay, huge. Very intuitive and easy to use. I, I like it. Is this breakable? Oh, okay. Only the bottom of this platform is actually... Uh, well, a platform. <laughs> is that breakable? That looks different. Uh, not... Doesn't look cracked or anything. Yeah, okay, so... I don't know, I, I want to say that, you know, this structure that I'm currently in front of... Could be a little bit more shaded, you know... Dimly shaded... To, uh... Oh, that's not... See, that's not... Uh, that doesn't have collision at all. That's... Hmm. It could be made visually clearer that those things are in the background, right? Anyway, let's save here. I wonder... Should I... Should I... Call it an episode here? I think I need a map for this area. Hmm. Already I could technically backtrack and get to a bunch of places that I couldn't earlier? I think? Hmm. I wonder, could I... Could I actually climb the initial shaft where I first fell? Possibly. Depending on uh, if, if it's a flat wall. Also, hmm. Did I visit that little, that little nook there, that little room? Did I notice that along the way up the wall? Or is that actually where I found the uh, the map data? I think that's that might be exactly that. Yeah, yeah, probably. 
and at the bottom there is there's the shortcut door that I need to open from the other side. Right down there, we need to have some heat protection, Varia suit. There we need to have a light source. All things that should be possible to acquire for a little robot eventually. Okay, anyway. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm actually going to end the first episode here. I'm not sure that I want to make them all this short. Also, I just noticed that there is, when we are approaching another uh, signal jammer or map data broadcaster, whatever. However you want to see it. Um, I mean, the first makes more sense to me if we destroy the thing and that gives us the map data. But whatever, you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just... I just want to make sure that everything's working fine, sound levels and stuff, and recording in general. So, yeah, let's uh, let's end the first one here. We just beat the first boss. I think that's um, that's a worthy stopping point. So, um, as as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.